I just want you back for good. Girl, I want you back for good. Hi guys, Evans B here and welcome to assignment number 12 of Master Light, the Lighting Assignment Group on Facebook. This is assignment number 12. This is absolutely crazy. It's exactly one year of assignments for Master the Light, the Lighting Assignment Group. This is uh, really insane. I never thought it would actually last that long because um, I never knew how far we could push it. But here we are, assignment number 12, moving forward. In this assignment, it's super simple. There's no gimmick. I'm not going to make this video 10 minutes long. We gotta do one thing that I really love and I think everyone, but everyone should do is natural light. So natural light photography is uh, one of the, really the, the most uh, either challenging or best way to approach lighting and understand lighting at its most core, which is the sun or available light. So in this assignment, what I would require you to do is actually shoot during the day. So we're not gonna use uh, constant light or anything. I just want you to go outside and shoot without a strobe or modifier, just really available light. This will help you understand the light relation, uh, the limits of your camera, the limits of your dynamic range, and also how the sun behaves, and also the weather conditions that are within uh, nature, actually. So for this assignment, uh, you don't have to use strobes, you don't have to use uh, reflectors, you don't have to use anything, but available light that is during the day. Very important. I don't want you to use a constant light or be at night. I really want it throughout the day. So between let's say eight and six, whatever, until there's daylight available and that you shoot outside or actually in a studio. Just make sure it's window light or available light. It actually comes from the sun. So the reason why we're doing natural light is because it's just nice outside. Spring is starting and I think uh, it's a good opportunity for us guys to actually go enjoy the outdoors. Uh, we've been stuck in the last few months indoor doing uh, a lot of strobing, a lot of uh, artificial lighting uh, with strobes, but this time, let's just go outside and have fun. Just really view your camera and the subject. I'll also be posting a video next week to show you five tips to actually shoot natural light better. There are ways to actually improve your natural light photography without going crazy and also without uh, spending too much time in Photoshop. So that's it guys, this is assignment number 12 for Master Light Lighting Assignment Group. Again, if you're not joined in, just make sure you hit the link that is the first link that is in the description below like that you can join the group. I'll approve them pretty fast. If you have any questions, again, please fire them in the YouTube comments. And uh, if you have any questions also within the other assignments, which are all open now, so just make sure you hit that link that I'm posting right now to actually see the other 11 previous assignments. They're all open, so if you want to test them or if you have a recent shoot that was done using those elements. Please post them in the group below. And uh, good luck.